Hey everyone, this is Ben. In this video, I'll show you how to create a PHP library for Laravel projects or any PHP project using Composer and how to install it locally. And in the next video, I'll show you how to publish it on packages.org. But this video is only about local development. Okay, now I'm on this path. It's a folder on my local Apache web server. Here, I want to create a PHP file to make a simple function. All right, rename it to my find.php. Open it. All right, here I want to create a simple say hi function. Say hi. Return hi. with a random number between 0 and 1000. OK. Now we can use it here. Echo, say hi. OK, save it. And let's run it. Enter the path, localhost, PHP and my func.php. All right, it works. Okay. Now I want to create a local PHP library for this. All right, let me do this in another directory. Let's go to the home and the projects folder. I want to create it here. First, here I create a folder for it, my lib. All right, open it and open a terminal here. Okay, to create a PHP library, you need Composer. First, run Composer in it. All right, now we must enter the package name. The package name should be like this, vendor slash a name here it suggests this okay ben i think it uses my computer name and slash my dash lib and it uses the folder name for this all right this name will be used when installing the package if i hit the enter now it uses this as a name but i can enter any name i want i want ben slash my dash first dash lib and hit enter all right and description it's optional i leave it empty and the author should be like this a name and a white space and open an angle bracket email address and close angle bracket or enter n to skip i enter n all right, minimum stability. All right, we can leave it empty or use one of these. I leave it empty. And package type. You can use one of these. I leave it empty too. It's optional. And license. You can choose a license for your package. For example, MIT, Apache, or any license you want. I enter MIT. You can leave it empty. All right, here it says define your dependencies. Our package is a simple package and does not use any dependencies. So I say no. Would you like to define your dev dependencies? No again. All right, here is the important part. Add PSR4 auto load mapping. Mapping namespace bin slash my first lib to a path. By default, it uses src or source for it, but you can enter any name for it. And here it will create a folder with that name. I just hit the enter to use the default. All right, this is the result. It asks us to confirm. And yes, done. Okay, let's go back to the MyLab folder. All right, now here we have src or source folder, vendor folder, and composer.json. 
Well, this is what we made. And we can edit it. The SRC or source folder is where the library source is located. And the vendor folder, it's created by Composer. But now we don't need it here. So I remove it. Okay, let's go back to the composer.json. Well, this is the package name and will be used for installing the package. This is the license and this is the auto load PSR4. And this is the namespace mapped to this path SRC. The path defined here should exist here. All right. And here, then backslash my first lib and end with a backslash. And the reason there are two backslashes here is because this is a JSON string and one of the backslashes is to escape the backslash because the backslash itself is a special character. Okay, let's create our library. Go to the SRC directory. And here I create a PHP file. The name is important. It will be used for class name and I rename it to this is Ben. This is Ben. All right, open it. First, define the namespace. Back to the composer.json, copy this and paste it here. Remove these ending backslashes and also remove the escape backslashes because we don't need them here. And add a semicolon here. All right. Any namespace defined here should be equal to this. For example, if here we have ABC, then in the composer.json, we should have this. All right. Now here, create a class, class, and here enter the file name without the extension. This is Ben. All right. And create functions here. Okay, I go back to the myfunc.php and copy this say hi function and paste it here. All right. Our library is ready to use. Save it. All right, here is our simple library. Let's use it. Let me close this and this. I go to my home directory. And here open a terminal. and create a new Laravel project. Composer, create project, Laravel, slash, Laravel, my app. All right. Go to the project directory and open it in VS Code. All right. Here is our Laravel project. Let's run it. Open a terminal and run PHP artisan serve. Open it. All right. A simple Laravel app. I want to use my library here. Back to the VS code. And let's install the library here. But since our package is local, we need to make some changes in the composer.json file of this Laravel project. Scroll down. And here, before disclosing curly brace, add a comma and enter. And add a new key. Repositories. Here we need an array. And define an object. A key for type. 
with the value path. And another key, URL. And here we must enter the path of our library on this computer. So I go to the directory of our library. And we need this path. I open a terminal here and run pwd. Okay, here is the path. And in Windows, just copy the path from the address bar. And in macOS, the pwd works too. Anyway, copy it and Paste it here. But for Windows, you need to add a backslash before each backslash because backslash is a special character in JSON strings. Save it. Now we can install our package. We can also add more libraries. Just create an object for each one and define the path. Open a new terminal and run composer require and here enter the package name. All right. What was the name? Go to the composer.json. Okay. Our package name is this. All right, but since our package is local, we need to add a white space at dev at the end of this command and hit the enter. Done. Our package is installed. And here you can see it. All right, let's use it. I go to the roots, web roots, and here I want to use the package. Define a variable and new this. Okay, here it is. This is Ben. And here you can see the namespace. All right, it's added here. Use Ben, my first lib, and this is Ben. This is the namespace, and this is the class name. You can also add it manually. And if your VS Code does not add it automatically, you can use this extension, PHP IntelliFence. Anyway. All right, now pass a variable to the welcome view. Hi, and Ben, and the say hi function. All right, now go to the welcome view, resources, views, and welcome.blade. And here, use it. An h1 tag, make it white, and the high variable. Okay, save all. And refresh. All right. Here is our library working. And since it is local, if we go to the library source and edit it, and save it, As you can see, it works without the need to reinstall it. And this is very useful for when you are developing packages. All right. And the link to the source code of this library is in the caption. In the next video, we'll explore how to create a PHP library and publish it on packages.org so that everyone can use it. See you in the next one.